In today's video, I'm talking about a lens that I absolutely love and why I love this lens. Hey there, I'm Jennifer, and I'm a wedding photographer serving both Tennessee and Virginia. My goal here on this channel is to educate other photographers, share my experiences with other photographers, and give you a glimpse into my daily life. So, I was just talking about how I'm going to tell you about a lens that I absolutely love and why I love this particular lens. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so what is this lens that I love so much and why do I love it? Okay, so first of all, the lens is the Canon EF mount 50 millimeter aperture of 1.2 luxury lens by Canon. Like I already said Canon, but that's okay. I love Canon. Anyways, I love this lens a lot, like a lot. Um, and for this particular video, because I've, I've done other videos talking about um, this particular lens, and in fact, it's linked up here, actually linked up here, linked up here. And so I love this lens because it can take situations that feel like there's not enough light and actually like make the situation work out just fine. Um, so throughout this video, I'm gonna show some examples of situations where it was, um, we're outside, um, and it was kind of really bright, like direct sunlight. And so I kind of had to take the photos, like, which it felt like I was taking the photos really, really dark. And it was really, really dark. Like the raw photos are really, really dark. Um, but when, when I go, but because of this whole, like the low light thing with the lens, because it's an aperture of 1.2, it honestly saves me <laughs> like completely. <laughs> um, because when I go to edit the photos later, uh, there's so much detail that was still in the darks that I can then bring up and make bright again and basically turn a photo that looked like it was going to be a dark and moody photo, which is not my style, as you know, and I can turn it into like a light and airy wedding photo. And that's just like amazing because in this particular situation that I had, it just felt like it was just direct sunlight and I didn't, so I didn't, in the sky, I didn't want to blast out, you know, like the white highlights but I also didn't want to like lose the darks and like money darkness, you know what I mean? And, but this lens, it allowed me to be able to take the photos darker, but then kind of fix it in post. That sounds really funny, but it really does allow you to do this because if I was on like a Canon 24 to 70 um, millimeter with like aperture of 2.8, even if it was like the luxury lens by Canon, like I still wouldn't be able to make this photo like as like light and airy as I wanted to. Um, because it wouldn't be capturing, um, it wouldn't be letting in as much light to the camera um, with that 2.8 aperture, whereas the 1.8 aperture does. And so I just love this because it allowed me to take a photo that honestly, when I was taking the photo, I was like, how like, am I gonna make this look good? Like, I just like, I was honestly just taking the photos and hoping it'd work out later at some point. And it did, it was really great, but I didn't even know at the time how much it was actually going to work out. Like I, when I went to go edit the photos later on, I was like, oh my gosh, like these actually look like, like I'm really happy with these photos. Like they were what I wanted them to look like. And in the moment when I was taking them, like I didn't even realize that this could be the outcome later on, like after editing. So I also definitely always take your photos in raw because taking your photos in raw, that will save you. Well, kind of, it will, it will help a lot. It will probably save you too. Um, and so that's kind of, why I love this particular lens because it can take really dark low light situations or situations where it's like super bright outside so you have to take the photo really dark so you don't blast out the highlights. It can like make those photos work for you and kind of save you in those particular situations. So the 50 millimeter, this particular lens is like a must have lens for me on a wedding day. I, I mean, I could shoot an entire wedding day only on the 50 millimeter. I choose not to do that because there's another lens that I love actually two other lenses that I love that I also love to use on wedding days. I should make videos about those two lenses as well and why I love to use them and like how I use them and things like that. Um, so that's kind of really why I love that. Particular lens is just amazing. And um, I'll show different photos before and afters. Um, so like this photo right here is a photo of, it's like the before of the groom doing some groom portraits. And then over here is a photo of the edited photo um, and you can just see just the massive difference that it is. I'll show some other photos too, showing examples of how this lens really can just make, you know, your couples pop and look amazing, even if when you're taking the photo, you think this does not look good right now. 
but just trust that's why like it's really good to know your equipment so that even if in the moment you think that like this photo is not going to turn out right like just trust trust your instincts that just keep taking photos and keep doing it because it's probably going to turn out better especially with this lens and that's why i love this lens because it really just allows me to know that my photos are still going to turn out how i really want them to even if i have strange situations where the light is direct or it's really dark low light reception you know that type of thing um so this 50 millimeter really just really saves the day so that's why i love um the canon 50 millimeter um ef mount aperture 1.2 luxury it really does just make everything better if you'd like to see more of this type of content in the future then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching see you next week